we have a triangle whose sides are of length 13, 14, and 15 units. Now we draw a circle like this, such that all the sides of the triangle are tangent to this circle, meaning they touch the circle at a single point. Our job is to find the area of this circle. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, let us draw this line, which will be the radius of this circle. Now tell me, what will be this angle? Yes, you are right. It will be a right angle. This is because we know that the radius of a circle is always perpendicular to the tangent line. Similarly, let us also draw these two radii and these two angles will be 90 degrees. Let us label these radii as R, su wheat. Now we will connect the center of this circle with the vertices of this triangle. So construct this line, then this line, and then this line. Great! Now what will be the area of this triangle? It will be equal to base times height divided by 2, right? So, the area of this triangle will be 15 times r divided by 2. Similarly, the area of this triangle will be equal to 14 times r divided by 2, and the area of this triangle will be equal to 13 times r divided by 2. You might be wondering why we are doing this? Because now, tell me what will be the area of this original big triangle? It will be equal to the sum of all of these three triangles, right? So the area of this big triangle will be equal to this plus this plus this, which will be equal to 42R over 2 or 21R. Now here comes the magic. Remove all of them and just focus on this triangle. We have the length of all the three sides of this triangle. So how can we find the area of this triangle? We can use the Heron's formula, which is this. Here this S is the semi-perimeter, and A, B, and C are the sides of the triangle. For our case, let A equals 13, B equals 14, and C equals 15 units. So S will be equal to 13 plus 14 plus 15 over 2 or 21 units. Substitute all of them into this area formula to get this. Now this will become this, and finally we get the area of this triangle as 84 square units. Noise. Now we only have to equate both of them to get 21R equals 84, or R equals 84 over 21 or 4 units, and that's it. Finally, finding the area of this circle is super easy. It will be pi times r square, or 16 pi square units. We are done. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good!